Kira Motors is a corporation founded in Uganda and owned by the government of Uganda at 96%, while 4% is owned by Makerere University. It was founded to contribute to the industrialization agenda envisaged to aid the transformation of Uganda into an upper middle income economy by 2040. Kira Motors Corporation is developing long-term technology capacity through partnerships to develop, manufacture, assemble and sell motor vehicles and components in Africa on a mission to build a better Uganda through the automotive industry technology. The Ugandan Motor Corporation has developed electric and diesel buses known as Kaluya EVS and Kaluya Diesel Coach respectively. Kaluya Diesel Coach is an executive bus for comfortable long-distance travel developed to meet consumer requirements. The Kaluya Diesel Coach comes with electrically controlled suspension system, 500 liters fuel capacity, a top speed of up to 140 km per hour, USB charging ports, 4G onboard Wi-Fi, overhead luggage cabin, interior LED lighting, onboard refrigerator, and onboard toilet. On the other hand, Kaluya EVS is a premium fully electric zero emissions low entry city bus made for urban mass transport. It has the capacity to carry up to 90 passengers, that is 49 seated and 41 standing. The bus has a range of up to 300 km when fully charged and relies on the lithium ion battery that powers an electric motor with power of up to 245 kW. The government of Uganda located 100 acres of land to Kira Motors in Jinja Industrial Business Park for construction of a new plant. Construction of the plant started in February 2019 and upon its completion is expected to manufacture, among other things, vehicle parts, components and autonomy systems with a total initial capacity of up to 5,000 vehicles per year. So far, Kaluya buses have been hired mainly by corporations to transport their staff to and from work. Kalita transporters deployed two Kaluya buses plying the northern bypass route with the carrying capacity of up to 90 passengers per bus. Kaganda Hoploy is much cheaper. And I could see how the passengers, how proud they feel. Africa is a continent that has been left behind in terms of manufacturing and production of mo motor vehicles. We mainly rely on imported cars from other continents, something I blame on poor leadership and co corruption in many African countries. For example, 
Japan sells millions of cars to Africa via brands like Toyota, Honda, Nissan, and Mitsubishi, in turn earning billions of dollars that could have been used in Africa if we had visionary leaders to build and produce cars in Africa, like what Kira Motors is doing in Uganda. These factories in Africa will in turn create employment, increase the forex reserve of Africa, and also make cars cheaper and affordable to most Africans. My only dream in Africa as a YouTuber and as Dennis the National is that one day Africa will become an industrial power of the world where most things will be produced and developed in Africa instead of being produced and developed in the West and, and China and Asia. And it saddens my heart that most of these things we have to import them while some of these things we can even make them. I was saddened to see that some Basic things like toothpick are imported from China, while these are simple things we can produce in Uganda or even in Kenya, my country where I come from. I pray and hope that this message can reach people in power and it can open their eyes. Because Africa, we have so much minerals and resources to produce these things and we have also the skills and capacity to develop these things in our own continent. I, as Dennis the National, and in my capacity as a YouTuber, I'll, I will forever champion for Africa where we can make everything in Africa from electronics, cars, railways and trains, aeroplanes, and construct our own roads and bridges. I would like to personally, as a YouTuber, to thank the people of Uganda for being a model for Africa in terms of electronic vehicles manufacturing, especially since everyone is shifting from diesel and petrol-powered combustion engines to electronic vehicles. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me and please like and subscribe for more amazing content. Thank you.